Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 56 and today we are going to look at how to use the multiple attributes in attribute selectors and again this is pretty easy so let's jump in oh, um, before jumping into the code uh, I want you to download the jQuery if you're new to jQuery download the uncompressed version simply put it into your project and then reference it uh, you know reference it in your head section like this if you don't do it the new jQuery is not going to work next you're going to write uh, some JavaScript code by saying hey document dot ready which means once the document finishes loading I want some jQuery instruction to get executed right so this is a regular thing we do all the time so now the time is to use the multiple attributes so if I'm looking at this document I can see you know uh, now the anchor tag has one two and three attributes so your boss comes in and your boss tells you that hey I want you to find the elements who has the attribute ID and attribute href lang as well then you're gonna say okay I get it so you want me to look at the elements who has the ID as an attribute and you also want me to look at the elements who has the href lang as well so your boss says yes and I want you and your boss says I want you to look at all the attribute values you know and they all should contain the check within that so check within that so then you might say all right so it means you're looking at the contains so when I think in terms of contains I'm going to use the star the asterisk or you can use shift and eight so you're going to get that so basically I'm looking at looking at the contains so now I'm looking at the check over here nope 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 oh yes oh yes and oh yes so if I run this thing so you get me right so all these elements have the ID all these elements have the href lang and we are using the contains to see if we have the check as a text within that anywhere right so this is pretty cool and that was pretty easy right so you know your boss is happy and you're happy too so uh, up next uh, what okay this is the end of the attribute selectors up next we're going to look at the forms filter all right and I want you guys to try you know some different techniques some you know case sensitivity thing and try plus and minus here if you guys run into any problems then please let me know via comments I'll be happy to help and once again thank you for listening and thank you for your time good night and take care